The Rock are right back to work for day two of training camp. With each day moving forward, the pace and intensity reach another level. For newcomers going through their first camp, it provides some insight on what it takes to play in the NLL. Yeah, it's been it's been great, you know, just kind of adjusting the speed and the and the physicality of, of the National Lacrosse League, obviously. So yeah, just getting adjusted here and you know starting to develop some chemistry with the guys. It's been good so far. It's going great. Um, I'm having a blast. Uh, the guys are very welcoming, so I feel like I'm fitting right in, and uh, yeah, I'm having a great time. I'm just learning uh, about the pace of the game. Um, it's a lot faster than what I've been used to, uh, so I'm just trying to quickly adjust to that as fast as I can. Um, well, obviously there's, a, there's the nets and like the sticks are different, but honestly the, the pace and the intensity along with the skill level of the uh, of my teammates here is, is much better than I've played with before, so it's, uh, it's been a big step up, but it's going well. The rookies will have a limited window to showcase their talents to the Rock management and coaching staff as training camp moves along rapidly. With a smaller camp this year, their opportunity to impress for a roster spot evaporates quickly. There's not a lot of decisions or cuts needing to be made. Yeah, I mean, like playing playing out here with guys like Dan Dawson, who have played 20 years in the league, and all, all the other guys on the right side, Keo, Shribes, Chow, it's, it's been great. I mean, learning from those guys is only going to help me down the road. So, yeah, just kind of picking their brain and trying to, trying to learn everything they can teach me. I'm lucky enough my locker's right next to Dan. Um, so I've basically tried to be a sponge uh, when it comes to talking to him on the bench in the locker room. Um, I'm just asking him, you know, sort of if we uh, go out there, drop the ball or whatever, I'm like, okay, Dan, where should I go? Uh, you know, what should I do uh, in this situation, that situation? So I'm just trying to, you know, soak up anything that he has to offer. So far, just a couple small things right now. It's just I'm trying to honestly just observing them and watching how they play. Uh, I think honestly just... Uh, getting to know about what the best angles are and how they move the ball. The Toronto Rock will get set for their first taste of game action Saturday, November 12th versus the Colorado Mammoth, 7 p.m. at the track. There is no charge for admission for the preseason games, but fans are reminded that we'll be helping out safety net children and youth charities. Items that are most need are men's, women's and children's regular and thermal underwear, socks, winter coats and boots, and seasonal winter clothing. Fans are asked to bring items in a large reusable cloth bag or garbage bag. Rock City, we can't wait to see you all this Saturday for some lax.